hello and welcome in this video we'll be demonstrating how to run calibration for hba1c and this is a request from one of our subscribers and so we respond to subscriber request and so please feel free on any day to send us your request on the youtube page or on our whatsapp platform okay in this video the focus is hba1c calibration and control but we also have other chemistries that have run out of calibration and so we'll also calibrate them but then we'll focus on hba1c now hba1c for this machine measures the hba1c along with the hb and so we'll calibrate for the hb as well as the hba1c so to do that you go to the reagent side and you select the hb or you highlight it and then you highlight the HbA1c as well. Then from there, you click on F5 to calibrate. From there, you click on OK. So that's the main part of the programming you have to do. Now, this is our calibrator. They are in two levels, S1 and then the S2. And one important thing you have to realize about this, that's also our control, the control level N and P. We'll talk more about that later so on the calibrator they are anti-light and anti-air it means that you shouldn't expose them to light and air for more than 40 minutes if you're about to calibrate make sure that you always store in a dark place okay so that's about our controls so uh after you finish programming you can go to your status site to check for the position of the calibrator so that's the s s has been programmed to position four and then the uh, s2 has been programmed to position one so as you can see that's s1 and so that's your calibrator again and that is what we aliquot and then we put in the machine so this is a, an aliquot of s1 that we put in in the machine so let's check the position again that is on position four you can see it hba1c s on position four and so we'll put it in the machine as you can see me do okay so it's in position four i hope you saw that okay so that's about that position four and then s2 is at position five that's where it has been programmed and so we'll also put s2 at position five okay so when we are done we will cover and then we can then begin to run our calibration by pressing on the play button so basically that's about how to program the machine for it be a 1c calibration okay so um just as we've always done you click on the play and load no and then okay and then you are done with that one so when the calibration is over you can go to your uh, chemistry calibration there to view so you can see it everything is fine give us the factor and then there are no flags it means that this calibration is okay it's passed and then it will work successfully okay so after we are done with this we can move on to run our controls our quality control good so um you have to uh, get your quality control then two levels there is the p and then there is the n for this mind ray bs240 okay so at your uh, calibration side you make sure that you select the right control and also make sure that you select the right sample cap that is the micro tube okay so at the uh, control side we select hba1c n that's the one i'm showing you now and then when you select it you would uh, then save it then from there you go so select for the p and then you do the same thing you save and once you save they are programmed as you can see you can always go to the status side to check the position of these controls and then you place them in the machine 
So you can see that uh, the N has been programmed at position 6 and then the P has been programmed at position 7. So those are the exact positions that will be placing these uh, controls. Okay, so uh, as in your shot, you can see them. That's the N and then I'll be placing them there at position 6 and then the P at position um, 7 as you can see okay so that is about how to program uh, the machine for the controls so we'll place them inside position 6 and then the other one at that's the P at position 7 okay so i'm showing it to you again programmed at position seven so we'll put it there and that's about that so we click on play and then it will run it when it's done we can then view our results at the results site okay so that's about that we program it and then we wait for the result so we click on play and load and then the next okay and then we go from there so we wait until it's done when it's done we can go and view our results at the uh, quality control side so you select the one that you need the hb and then you look for the n and then the p you can see that both uh, within one standard deviation from the mean and so they have all passed or they are okay so that's about how we run it thank you